So, we all know at this point I like to look at the Discharge website, and the reason for that is I sometimes feel that the website is an indication to come. Like a fortune teller being able to tell you your future. Now, obviously, that isn't always the case, but I sometimes do think there's sometimes a little bit of a correlation between the quality of a website and its distro. Now, I'm not here to judge the state of a website or a distro because that would be nasty, and lots of people put in a lot of time and effort, and it would be really rude if I was to criticize that. However, I came across a Spoink OS. Yes, my new favorite word, spoink. I actually don't even know what spoink means. What does spoink mean anyway? If we search for Google, oh, spoink is a psychic type Pokemon introduced in Generation 3. I wonder if that's just coincidence or if it's named after the spoink Pokemon. And if there's something else called spoink, I'm sure someone's going to tell me below in the comments. Anyway, moving on from Pokemon species. Uh, Spoink's website is, well, this, uh, very, you know, interesting, uh, no, and no, I don't have Dark Reader on my machine somewhere, I, or, or extension, I, I double check that, so I don't know if the website's meant to be like this, or if it's, you know, a boo-boo, but anyway, once you highlight it, uh, it does tell you that it is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. That's right. It uses the licorice kernel and it has some other different choices of software applications. And uh, it's ideal for newcomers. So guess what we're going to take a look at today, folks? We're going to look at a Spoink OS. Yeah, so we're going to try or install Spoink and I must tell you, this ISO comes in at a hefty 5 gigs. Okay, and uh, here we go. Straight to the KDE desktop of Spoink. Okay, it looks... It's already telling us there's an update available. So I'm, I take it this is probably based on Kubuntu. Which, of course, is Ubuntu with KDE on it. But you know what? Before clicking any upgrades, let's install Spoink. So I'm going to install Spoink OS Blue. And FYI, I downloaded the latest ISO available. So I'm sure a newer one will come out soon that uses 2310 as a base. Sorry, I mean that uses a new base. I'm sure I clicked on the install. Let's do it again. Okay, let's just fix the resolution a bit here. Cool, now everyone can see us. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, okay, so here's our installer. I'm going to say continue. Continue. I'll even install third party software. Install now. I'm just erasing the disk and swimming it out. Continue. Let's continue. Okay, and we have the normal Ubuntu install a slideshow. We'll come back once the spot's done. Okay, so installation wasn't too long, so let's restart now. Okay, so now we have this installed. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, yeah, so this is, as looking at this, it is a Google into 2304. And looking at the bundle software, we have Kate for development, game, the uh, K-Mines, Sudoku, amongst others, graphics, Gwenview, Gimp, Shotwell, Fert Manager. Okay. It was in a photo manager. Huh. 
Okay, well, uh, then she starts again. This is a bit uh, weird. So we start the guest. Going to Unity. You know, this leads me, I'm sh almost, I think, that's what used the Ubuntu Unity Edition. Put KDE on top of it. Could be wrong. Okay, so that's now the second time I've had an issue with this thing. Um... Okay, so let's try shots with it again. What the heck? Wow. You click on shot for manager and the thing crashes. Nice. And it's using X11, so we can't even blame Wayland if we wanted to. You know what? I'm just going to hit Unity here and see what this thing does. Oh, oh. would you look at that now? Spoink supports Unity, has Unity, and it has KDE. Okay. Let's look at our applications here. It's been a long time since I've looked at uh, Unity, so... Okay, so we know it's got GIMP. Uh, it's got Lisa. Okay, that's a music application. Uh, here we go. Okay. So, three dash plugins under education, nothing. Uh, games, young. No, ask me later. I'm not upgrading that. I cannot upgrade. I don't want to upgrade. Okay, LibreOffice. So, it's okay. So, that seems to work. Uh, no, okay, so normal LibreOffice going on here. Version 7.57. All right. Okay, so it's, so uh, let's go to internet. Okay, so interesting choice. There's Firefox is there and the Opera browser. Interesting choice to come with Opera as well. Um, no, we don't want to set you up now, Opera. Okay, so our education, nothing there. Fonts, nothing there. Graphics, these here. I think it's going to crash. going to be shot well. Ah! Wow. Okay, I've learned my lesson. I promise I won't click on shot well anymore. Okay, anyway, back to KDE. Um... HTOP, so we're using over a gig of memory, which isn't bad. Really, it's not. And it's not much CPU space, usage, usage going on there. I just feel like there's a kind of a delay here. Plumatix editor, move on package manager. Why would you use move on package manager? I suppose if you really don't like Discover, which I'll be honest, isn't my favorite either. Okay. Offers we've already looked at, multimedia we've looked at. What's her Runa media player? Okay, I guess it's a media player. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Does that, post that. Internet, conversation, transmission. So what is Spoink? Spoink appears to be Ubuntu. It's definitely Ubuntu as a base. With some default change of applications. So it looks like some KDE applications have been slapped onto it. And they definitely Unity as a base uh, as well. So it looks like this KDE. So it looks like Ubuntu base put Ubuntu Unity onto it somewhere, and uh, KDE as well. And you get this whole mix going on here of some interesting duplicate pieces of software. 
uh, all going around here. Like, uh, how many calculators do you need? And then taken some applications, what you would expect from a Mate desktop as well. Very, very interesting. So this is more, I suppose this is just a bunch of applications that we put together for this distro that I keep having issues with the crashing for some bizarre reason. Uh, let's look at the Discover store. I want to see if they've ripped out. Are we using flat packs here? Are we using the default? Uh, we're still using the default snap. Okay. That's interesting. And we have discovered. And this duplication. Two app stores. Two browsers. Things that don't seem to want to close. Mm. Suggestion would be. Instead of taking Ubuntu and installing duplicate applications onto it. Like do you really need transmission and ktorrent? Um, move some of these. Lean it out. Maybe slap on another uh, a wallpaper or something. And then, yeah, but right now, I don't know who this is for. I, in my use, I haven't found it stable, but maybe it's just my setup. Um, who is it for? I, I, I suppose if you want Ubuntu and you want uh, a different choice of applications out the box, here you go. Hopefully, once this new version comes out based on the newer Ubuntu base, it'll be more stable. As for now, leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.